Hi everybody, how you doing? It's Dad Dancer here and I uh, hope you're all well. Now in this video we're going to be looking at what you need to know before you get started in Minecraft. Now I've only been doing this a couple of months. My girls come home from school one day and they were talking about Minecraft this and Minecraft that. And although I'd heard of it, I never had a clue what it was all about. We tried asking people via Facebook or our friends and we got silly answers back like Well it's a game. It's a game you mind stuff. Well that didn't really help us at all. We also got answers coming back to us as if we knew all about it, which seems a bit bizarre. It was like, well, you start off, you mine these resources, then you go off to the nether, then you fight an end dragon, and it just went on like that. So uh, what I thought I'd do is just tell you how you get started, what you need to know for those people like me that didn't have a clue, and uh, just give you some ideas of what to do when you get started. Now, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to this channel. I'm very new to all of this. It would mean a lot to me. And uh, if you hit the bell notification, that'll keep you up to date with all my other with all my other journeys, I should say, as I'm about to make a start in this YouTube Minecraft journey. And I'd love it if you could join me as well. So uh, come and join me and we'll see how we get on. So what is Minecraft then? Well, it's a game for all ages, including old boys like me. And some might argue that it's a video experience because there's many objects to this game. Now, for this example, I'm in survival mode and I've landed here in this world with nothing but the clothes on my back. And what I would need to do is I would need to start gathering resources, especially in the first day, because you have days and nights. And the day will last about 10 minutes. And when the sun goes down and the, uh, and the moon comes up, if you haven't got somewhere safe to stay or to sleep, then that's when all the nasties come out, or the zombies, or the skeletons, or the creepers. So what you would do when you first land here is that you would start by chopping some wood down with your bare hands. Then you craft some tools, some wooden tools, basic tools, so that you could maybe build a, uh, a basic wooden hut. And then you can go off mining below the surface or into the hills so that you can then upgrade your tools to stone tools. You can find gems like emeralds, or diamonds or gold. And uh, you just move through the world, upgrading each time. You might be building better houses and uh, going off and, and exploring the different worlds or the different biomes. So these biomes, there, it's just the terrain that you could land in. And there's, there's many different uh, biomes that you could land in. There's this, the open plains, which is fairly flat. There's a few trees to the side, but there's quite a few different animals that you can farm into the savanna, different type of trees. Gets a little bit more hilly right here. From there, you could go into more of a mountainous area. So you've got all the, the snow covered mountains and hills, so quite a lot of mining to be done there, but not many trees. We then go into the deserts. Now you can come across uh, obviously a bit of resources here, but it's mainly just sand, along with the swamp as well. So all a bit, uh, uh, all a bit marsh landy. So it's, I mean, the different terrains are brilliant. I mean, these are pretty good. These forest terrains because or biomes, because obviously you've got a lot of resources that you can get from the uh, from the animals in the forest to the uh, to the woodlands. And if you're lucky, you'll come across a village. And if you come across a village, you can kind of uh, you can kind of loot the village, so you can get some resources there as well. Plus, you can obviously stay there if you wanted to. That uh, gives you a safe place to stay at night if you wanted to stay there. So those are the different types, or some examples of the different types of biomes that you could you could find yourself in. Right, so let's have a look at getting Minecraft onto uh, our computer then, shall we? So uh, I've just Googled Minecraft so that uh, I can get their official site. So I'm just going to click onto uh, their website, their web page, and straight away, nice big green button here, get Minecraft. That's all I'm interested in getting it at the moment. So I'm just going to click that. So I've got a choice of how I want to play the game, whether I do it on my computer or if I have any other consoles. Well, I don't have any consoles, so it's either computer or phone. It is. So I'm going for the computer and ours is a PC. So I'm just clicking on there. So um, here I've got a choice whether it's Java edition. Um, or not so ours is Java so I'm just going to press that I'm not going to buy it again because obviously I've already got it on my computer 
but you'll end up with a screen here um 1795 at point of recording this uh which i think is pretty good i i really do think that's good i've got a very very old xbox that uh we, well it's years old i think it was when they first come out and even back then the the games were about 30 40 pounds so um i think 1795 for a game that you can play on any computer i think it's pretty pretty darn good actually so as you can see from uh, from the last year 2020 you need to have a Microsoft account it's fairly straightforward to set up it's free to set up so you just need to have a Microsoft account um, I'm not going to buy it again so uh, like I said because I've already got it on here so if you click the buy Minecraft and uh, go through the rest of the instructions download it install it and then we'll see you in just a moment so you've gone along to the Minecraft website, you've downloaded your game, you've installed it, you've opened it up for the very first time and this is what you're looking at. Now you can either just press play and just jump straight into it or if you wanted to you can just change the character that you are. So if I go into the skins then these are the characters, these are the default characters that come with a game. So you can either have a young chap called Steve. I say young, I don't know how old he is really. So, um, and there's Steve there, so say hello to him. Or you can have a young lady called Alex. And to change them, you just hover over the character you wish, click use, and there you go, off you go. So there's Alex, so that's who we're playing with. But I'm gonna go back to Steve, because he's more happy about that. So from here, just go back to your play button, press the big green button on the front there, and off it goes. So just uh, load in, now it's got the, that information. And when it comes back, you'll be uh, left with all the details or you'll be faced with all the details to create your new world. So there we go, let's make a start. So I'm just gonna expand the screen a little bit here. I'm gonna play on single player, because it's just me. And I'm going to create a new world. So let's, uh, what should we call this? Well, we could have just called it New World, I suppose. So uh, our first time. There we go. Let's do that. Our first time. Now there's a couple of different um, different ways, different modes you can play in. There's survival mode, which uh, is what we tend to play in. Um, that is, you will have to avoid all the, or fight the, the nasties, like the zombies. You can play in creative uh, mode, which is you get unlimited blocks. And what I mean by that is you get unlimited resources of, of tools, of weapons, of of gems, of, of brick, stone, everything that you can get in the game, you can have it in creative. You don't have to go looking for it and you have unlimited amounts of it. I tend to use, use the uh, difficulty, leave it as normal. You can go hard or peaceful. Peaceful is there won't be any nasties there, um, but tend to keep it, as, uh, keep it as normal. I'm gonna put that back on survival. There is another mode called hardcore, which is uh, basically once you die, you've had it, you die, that's it, you've lost your world. I think you can go in again and have a look on spectator mode, um, but you can't actually play it in hardcore once you've died. I haven't tried that yet, I must admit. So let's go back to survival. I'm going to put the cheats on. That will allow me to switch from survival to creative if I need to. So I'm just going to leave it on. I don't tend to use it very often, but I'm just going to leave it on. More world options. Well, if you have a seed number that uh, you specifically want or you've seen someone else play in an area that uh, you quite like, you can actually put the long number in there and that will take you to wherever that person landed or spawned. World type, I tend to leave it on default. That goes, uh, you don't know where you're gonna be, what biome or land you're gonna be in, but you could actually have just a super flat land. There's nothing there. There's no trees, no hills, just, just a flat land of grass. Or you can go into the big biomes or the big lands. So it would be a very large desert or a very large forest and that's all you get. So I tend to uh, just stay, um, stay on default there. So you can have a bonus chest. Now a chest is where you might find some resources. It's just a, a box of goodies, if you like. And then once you've done, once you're happy with all the things that you've got there, uh, you just hit the button, create new world, and I'll see you on the other side.
So here we go, we've just landed in our brand new world or spawned into our new land. And uh, I can see actually it doesn't normally happen very often, but I have a I have a village just over there, which um, normally I'm not that lucky. I can see it's fairly early in the day. The sun hasn't long risen and uh, yeah, we're just ready to go off exploring. So if this is your first time and you've just landed into your or spawned into your new world, then uh, here's a couple of things you might want to know. Now, the default keys to go forward for um, for this game is going forward with the W key. You go backwards with the S key to the left. You go with the A and to the right. You go with the D. So uh, those are the uh, default keys. They're normally found to the left of a standard keyboard. If you want to jump, just uh, press the space bar. Space bar is normally the jump. Now, if you're like me and you're a lefty and you need to change these controls like I have, all you do is you just go to the escape key on your keyboard, go into options, controls. And as you can see, I've changed some of these already. So if I just reset the space bar there, or sorry, reset the jump. So if you want to jump, you just uh, and you want a different key, I use my slash key. You just press the space, press the key that you want it to be. And then, as you can see, it's just reset. So if I come out of this, press done, done and back to the game. Here we go. If you want to run, by the way, if you've got to run away, just push the uh, forward key twice and keep it down the second time. So you can go at twice the speed so you can run if you need to run away. Now, when you land here for the first time, if you press your inventory key, which is uh, the E key, Press your E and you'll open up this basic interface here. Now, this is your inventory. So on in here, these are the number of items. Each box can be for your items that you can hold at any one time. And up here where it says crafting, you've got a two by two basic crafting interface or crafting little table. So with here, you can make some basic tools or torches. Um, maybe not tools. Tools, you need a three by three interface. So you need a box here with three by three. And the way we make that is by using the main resource in Minecraft, which is going to be wood. So I have a lonely tree here. I just need to go in and cut it down. Now I've got nothing to cut it with, so I'm going to use my bare hands here. So um, I'm just going to use my fists to uh, hit the first few. Now to hit or strike or attack, you want to use your left mouse button. You can use a, a mouse pad on the laptop, which I do occasionally, but it's a bit trickier, I found. But um, so your left your left um, mouse button is is for, like I say, attacking or hitting or striking. If you want to open a door, for example, or put something down. So if I put this log down, I use the right mouse button. There we go. Right, right mouse button, left to actually um, take it back up again. As you can see, I'm hitting it with another log. So if I want to pick it up, all I need to do is just walk over it. And there you go. You can see in the bottom left, I have two logs there now. There's a couple more logs just here which if I jump up here, I can automatically pick them up. And with this tree, it will drop either saplings, it might drop some sticks, it might even drop some apples if you're lucky with oak trees. But uh, just get the rest of these out of the way there. So uh, as I said earlier, I need to make a bigger crafting table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my inventory for the smaller crafting table, which is just here. And I'm going to place this log in there, in the bottom, in any corner, it doesn't matter which one you place it in, you can go in any one. Now for each log, you'll get four planks, so four pieces of wood. So I'm going to take all that as planks. Now what I want to do is, oh there's some sheep around, so what I want to do is um, make a table and I do this by placing a plank in all four squares. Now if you think, oh, I'm never going to remember that, you have here recipe book. So just press the recipe book. There's the crafting table and it will do it automatically for you. So I'm just going to drop that into my hot bar there. So if I come out of this and I place my crafting table down, now you can see in my hot bar, the crafting table is highlighted. I can move it by using the scroll wheel or I could use the numbers on the keyboard to, uh, to change the hot bar. So I'm going to place that crafting table down by right clicking the mouse and if I right click the crafting table there you can see I have a three by three interface. Now I've also got the recipe book open so you can see you could, these are all the things I could possibly make from a boat to a front door to some stairs. 
So if I just close that just for a second, we can use it if we want to, because each of the tools that you're going to need straight off are going to require a handle. So the handle are made from sticks and to make sticks, you just need one plank over the other plank. And for each stick, you get four. Now, I know it says six here, but um, you only need one in each to get four sticks. So there we go. We're going to place that to our other sticks. There you go. You can see our planks have gone down as well. And I'll, I'll do another four as well. Let's click those. I'm double clicking that, by the way. So if you went across, instead of picking one up and adding it, all you need to do is pick one up or double click it and they'll all they'll all join in together. So to make an, a pickaxe, which is what we'll want to go mining. You just have two sticks, one over the top. You take your plank and you make it like a T. So we have a T over the top and there we have, there's our pickaxe. If you want to make an ax, you just take one plank and pop it to the side. So you've got like a, a corner taken up and there's your ax in the corner. Now, again, you can see that because we're running out of sticks and uh, planks, you can see that in the recipe book, that uh, the axe and the pickaxe is now gone because we need three planks and there's only two here. So if I click up here, it can show you if you're if you're lost and you think, well, how many do I need for uh, a pickaxe? There it is. It won't let me make one. It's shown up in pink, but uh, it just gives you an idea what you can make or what you're looking for and the materials you need to go and make it. So now we have our axe and our pickaxe. Let's just pick that up in case we need to move or run away. You know. And some jobs are better or some uh, tools are better for um, diff the different resources. So, for instance, um, trying to find a tree. <laughs> we haven't got a tree. Let's use, let's use the axe on some stone and shall we? So I'm going to go and find some stone um, up here. Let there you go. There's some stone just there. So if I use my pickaxe, I can I can grab the stone and there you go. There's a stone block. I can then go and pick it up. Uh, and that's with anything like stone or co which is cobble. But uh, and there's gravel as well. So uh, if I use my axe on the cobblestone, yes, it will break it. It will take longer to break it. But what it won't do is drop that item. So certain, uh, certain tools are needed for certain materials. Otherwise, you won't be able to collect them. So there we go. There's our, uh, there's our tools. What I will do is I will now collect just a couple more bits of cobble. Oh, I need my pickaxe for that. So let's get my pickaxe. These are my cobble. These blocks here, that's gravel. So we'll just grab another one here so that uh, if I place my crafting table down, right click it again so I get my uh, interface up, I can now make some stone tools. So I can make stone tools exactly the same way as I made my wooden tools, my wooden pickaxe, and then just put a stick underneath. And now we have a stone pickaxe. So that's basically how you can get your tools and how the crafting tables work. So here it's a little bit night time now. We're getting uh, getting night time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh I've hit the wrong button there and and again I'm all fingers and thumbs here. I'm going to pick up my crafting table and uh, I'm going to go and ex off and explore. And I hope you found this useful. And um, as it's getting night time and I haven't got a place to stay at the moment, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go off. I'm going to go off and I'm going to explore the village. So I'm sure I'll find a bed over in the village. So um, that's what I shall do. So until we see you again, take care. Enjoy, uh, enjoy your Minecraft experience. And uh, don't forget to check out all the other videos that we do. Hit the subscribe button if you feel it useful or you just want to follow along with my journeys or you just want to see an old boy fail. So take care and uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to quickly go and find somewhere to sleep. So uh, good night. See you soon. Bye.